Hey guys, um, gotta be a little quiet because it's getting closer to dark time, night time, and the, the dude on this side of the wall doesn't really like all the noise that I make. Found that out the other night by accidentally bumping the wall. I bump the wall once, he slams the wall. But that's beside the point. Anyway, I want to give you a quick update. <clears throat> um, it's really, honestly, there's really not much else to say at the moment other than the fact that, okay, since, since, since the last time I said anything, I've got my residence card. I now have a bank account, a Japanese postbook bank account, a uh, post office bank account. I uh, still don't have a cell phone yet. It's not a working one properly. Uh, I will have a name stamp, Hunko, as they're called, uh, hopefully by tomorrow evening around 5 or 6 o'clock when I actually get out of the extra training and such. Um, that's about it so far. It's like I have to get the Hunko before I can actually get the phone because it requires that instead of having a debit card or credit card, I only have the postbook stamp or the postbook which needs the stamp with it. And it's just, it's, it's, it's stupid, but it's, it's necessary. It's stupid, but it's necessary in the Japanese culture. It's the only way to say it. It's just like all these other teeny tiny little menial tasks that are required when I can't just give my signature. I have to have a official stamp with it. So I was meaning to get a, to get a honko anyway, but it doesn't matter. It's just one of those where it's very frustrating. Two days in a row, I've gone to the place and I said, "Oh, can't get there from here. Can't get there from here." Both times. So, I mean, it just happens that way. So, but yes, in the more in morning slash afternoon, I'm going to be going for more training um, for the junior high school, elementary school student people. So I'll be able to get some more idea of what's going on there. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's about it, honestly. There's not really much else that's happened. When I went to the post office today, I went with a, a dear sweet young lady. Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer is a wonderful person. Jennifer Noyola, thank God for your for you being alive. Because your ability with the Japanese language was is is a good bit more advanced than my own and you helped me out a great deal amount. Being able to, you know, say the right sentence structure instead of just going, uh eh, uh <laughs> which is what I do. Uh, so you made things a whole lot more fun. You made things a whole lot quicker and just, it was nice having someone to talk to. So thank you. But other than that, it was a fairly normal day. It was a Tuesday. There's really not much else to say. Uh, I don't have anything else to talk about. So I'm going to end this here. Uh, know that I love you guys. Take care. Um, you ever get a chance? Eyeball, <laughs> come on out to Japan. It's a very interesting place to visit, especially when you go and meet people that actually know what they're doing. So, if you ever come out here and come into my general area, I would love to be able to show you around because I've explored a little bit. I've had some fun stories to tell. Um, gonna try and compile them all together before I post the video, but I don't know. It's just fun. It's it's very entertaining. The public transportation is a lot of, it's, it's tedious, but it's fun. It's very interesting. It's very different than what I've done. I've always had a car, like as far, as far back as I can remember. I've always traveled by car. I don't think that, like in the States, I think I only traveled by train a few times. And that was only like for, like, like theme parks or amusement parks or something of that nature. I don't remember doing trains for mass commuting. Um, I did do that in California for a weekend, but I only did that like twice. And in the past couple of days, I've had to do it over 30 times. <laughs> So it's one of those like getting used to the idea of drive riding around on these things and spending money on them and trying to find the best way to actually you know get there get from point A to point B in the most economical and cheap way. It's difficult, but it's a fun job or it's a fun thing to do because it's different. Um, sorry if it sounds echoey. You're inside of a small box instead of a smaller box inside of the kitchen area. So there's nothing really I can do about that. There's no good place to be out there to actually get a good picture, especially with a light source. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say other than I love you guys. Do take care. Drop me a line on Skype um, if you have my Skype. If not, message me and I'll shoot you my Skype. Uh, we can do the whole Facebook thing now because they have actually got that sort of like Skyping thing in Facebook, which is okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, if y'all have any questions or requests or anything of that nature, just let me know. I'll try and accommodate as best I can. Um, yeah, everybody take care. Know I love you. Hope everything's going all right, especially for certain people. And you know who you are if you watch my videos, because I've been trying to contact you for quite a few days now, and you still haven't talked to me. So, 
I guess I did something wrong. But that happens when I'm across the planet. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, once again, take care. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. I mean, just kind of send this out to as many people as you can. The more people I can get in contact with, the more people that become interested, and the more opportunities that I have to share my fun. Which, honestly, it is fun. I hope to do some more videos, like I said before, just like general walking videos, life in Japan kind of thing. But there's only so much that can be done, especially on you know, short time periods and being in areas that don't like video cameras. It's a small rural area. And when I say small, I mean it's like twice the size of Athens, but it's still small considering in Japan. Um, but yeah, anyway, love you guys. Take care. And that's Akaiju Carl's roar session, I guess. There you are.